Welcome to the Muxall Open IoT channel. I am your host, Michael Crane. Okay, so first things first, let's go over the, the SMA types. SMA stands for Sub-Miniature Adapter or something like that. You can Google it. And that's what I did. <laughs> so let's move these out of the way. So we've got an antenna here and this has got a SMA male connector on it. The male connector, contrary to what, what you might think, it's not about the pin. It's about the outside of it. And so if the, thre if the threads are on the inside, it's a male connector. If the threads are on the outside, this is a female connector, right? This goes like, this plugs into there. So the, this is standard, right? But, and, and you can get Wi-Fi antennas like this, right? You can also get Wi-Fi antennas like this. So this is a Wi-Fi antenna, and as you can see, it's got the SMA male connector on it, but it has no pin. <laughs> and, uh, so, and no, it is not a steer. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so this is called a, an RP, or reverse polarity, SMA connector. Okay, so this is still a male connector, but it's an RP male. RP SMA male connector. And, of course, they have RP SMA female connectors. So you can have a female connector with a pin. All right? And uh, <laughs> we're just going to leave it like that. I have both kinds of antennas. These are these are very common for like what you plug into your router to extend your Wi-Fi. So we're going to be using that. I and these right here I ordered by accident. Uh, they're still good. Nothing wrong with them. And uh, actually, they work very well. So I'm going to let's set that aside. So it doesn't really matter what we're going to put on today. Uh, they they both mount the same. And uh, so let's get started, okay? And all right, so first, now I have successfully removed this antenna in the past, but the pads, the solder pads on these ESP32 boards are extremely easy to rip off. So I suggest that you just, you just clip them off. And uh, so let's just do that real quick, shall we? And you got you still have to be careful. You can still rip them off with your cutters, but just take them. They're real easy to clip, and just go, just clip, clip, clip. Yep. And down in there, clip. See? Okay. You can see that uh, this is a board connector. Okay, and then the middle pin right here is is the positive, and then these other pins right here are just connected to the to the outside of the connector. What is this? This is a, a RP a SMA female connector, and what's nice about it, or or <laughs> Espressive was kind enough to do for us is it's going to mount like this is it lines up perfectly with the pads so these two pins right here uh the positive and the ground uh line up perfect oops sorry <laughs> they line up like that right so so we just really need to just remove these two pads and let's do that so I just take my flux pin here, a little bit of flux on there, take my soldering iron, I have it set at 350, and yeah, just heat that guy up. Now this is a lead-free solder. If you have a hard time getting uh, heat transfer, which can happen, sometimes you can take a little bit of solder and put on there, and on the on the tip of your iron, and that'll help with the heat transfer. Sorry, it's hard, <laughs> it's hard to do under camera. Well, 
Well, that was... <laughs> that came off pretty ugly. Then let's see if the uh, <laughs> if the other one comes off a little better. Oh yeah, and go figure. Oops. Okay. So now I'm just gonna take some solder wick and wick off a little bit of the solder. And I, I usually put a little bit of flux on my solder wick. That seems to help. That um that ground pin must be uh sinking the heat back into the ground plane. It is uh it is not very easy to warm up. Ooh, my solder wick's getting hot. Yeah, see this other pin it's, uh, I'm sorry, the other pad uh was a lot easier. Okay. So now we've got those two pads clean. And like I said, you can you can clean up these other pads right here if you want. Uh, I'm not going to do it in this video because uh, I don't want to waste your time and they're, they don't really do anything. So, uh, okay, we got the pads cleaned up. You'll probably notice if you buy one of these connectors. Oh, by the way, these connectors are Max <laughs> Moral 5-piece RP SMA and dot 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 AX coax connectors. I, I think I got them off of Amazon. I, I don't remember. Anyway, so, so that, since this is a multi-layered board, this uh, this connector right here is made for a single layer board. It's a little bit, oh sorry, <laughs> it's a little bit thicker than than what the connector is made for. So you're gonna have to very carefully take some pliers and just a little bit bend out those bottom ground pins right there. You don't want to do it too much because these these ground pins surrounding that positive pin what gives it strength and support. Okay. So, uh, and now we're just going to slide this guy. Oh, another thing you have to do too, I found out, is you have to take off this. They, they managed to get this pad, this rubber foot or whatever it is, uh, right in the way. First thing is we need to take our flux pin and put some flux on. Now I'll just put it on both. I don't have to remember which side is which. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Okay, we got flux everywhere now. All right, so now we're just going to carefully, we don't want to rip the pads off. Remember the positive is this guy right there and, and the center pin. Gonna slide this guy on carefully. As far as we want to cover the whole pad, we want to get as much strength on this as possible. It'd be nice if we could slide it all the way in. See, if you're designing this PCB, you'd want to have pads for both these on both sides, right? And then you could, and you'd also want to make it so where you could push this connector all the way up until it stops. But, but this uh, PCB wasn't designed for that, so we can only get it this far. All right. So, I got that done. Then you take your your soldering iron. I have it set at 350C. I don't remember if I said that already. And uh, now we're going to solder it. Hold on. I'm looking at it under the microscope. Looks like I can move it up just a little bit further. There we go. Good. Like I said, when you bend those pins out, these uh, ground pins on this connector out, yeah, don't bend them much. Just, just enough. I mean, we don't want to damage the bottom of the PCB for sure. I mean, you don't want to scrape and cause a short because I am sure, well, it's got, it looks like some kind of flood fill going on here. So this might be ground. I, I don't know. I, I doubt it. I'm, I'm guessing ground's internal somewhere. But I, anyway, this flood fill might be ground. But like what I'm saying is you don't want to, you don't want to scrape off the solder mask and, and cause a short to your connector. That would, uh, that would probably ruin your day. Okay. So, let's solder it up. Now, if I was doing this without being on camera, I would probably put the ESP32 in a vise to hold it still. Yeah, that, <laughs> that 
That ground pin's definitely sinking heat out. Let's see, this, this, we're gonna add a lot more heat to it. There we go. Now we got them hot. Yeah, so when you're soldering these connectors, be careful. You don't wanna, you know, heat these pins up too hot because you'll melt the plastic inside the connector there, right? And, uh, and that would be bad. But that looks pretty good. And you'll, you'll notice that it's got, um, it's got quite a bit of strength the way it is now. And, and I would probably, you know, just as a matter of course, I would probably uh, test this and, 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 and clean it <laughs> before doing what I'm going to do. But I'm going to do it anyway just for the video, okay? And that is, um, yeah, I'd probably clean the, the flux off first. In fact, I, I do clean the flux off before I, I put some hot glue on here. But the hot glue is to keep it. So we've got pretty good strength. Uh, you know this way right up and down because of the ground pins but we don't have much twisting strength and that's because we can't push this thing all the way in we don't want to rip the pads off while we're trying to screw on the antenna so i'm going to add hot glue in here to um to give it i don't know what is that called torsion strength i, I don't remember oops there we go they're just gonna goo her up. That's that's what I'm talking about. Nothing like, yeah. So that right there, when it dries, sorry, that'll give us some good. Whoa, <laughs> this stuff gets everywhere. Yeah. So you can see that hot snot's gotten all down in there. So now, when that stuff gets hard, it will um, it will prevent it from, you know being able to move either direction it'll probably give it a little bit more strength up and down as well okay to do a quick wrap up on this video uh, i wanted to show you i i went ahead and tested it i didn't do it live or anything like that it's not very interesting but uh, i did want to show you that the connector does work so this ssid 2 number two right here uh shows neg 86 that's the internal antenna and ssid 2 number one is our new uh antenna connected to the connector we just soldered on as you can see we got a, a nice 10 db gain and if you're wondering where the about the coax that's going to be in another video i i thought i'd split it up to uh, make these videos a little bit shorter so uh people that want to solder a coax don't have to sit through soldering a <laughs> connector anyway um i'm sure this 10 db gain has more to do with the antenna than the connector uh yeah you can see it works and it works well so there you have it don't forget you can support the muxall open iot channel by donation using a credit card and paypal or by purchasing products at the muxall store Details and links are in the description under this video. Well, that's it for this video. If you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up, that helps, and hit the subscribe button, that really helps. If you have any questions or comments, post them in the comments under this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.